Alright, what's poppin', what's poppin', guys? New TDS update today. And this one, it looks pretty big, man. I just joined the match, so I don't know what's, uh, what's poppin' yet. I'm gonna check out the news feed, though. I'm really excited. Alright, so, first up, we got a new tower was actually added today. It's the, uh, Trapper Tower. So, unlock the new Intermediate Tower for 3,000 coins? Okay, I can actually afford this. So it is a coins tower, thank god. I was so concerned this was going to be a gems tower. Oh man. That looks cool, I can't wait to test this out. Throw various types of traps onto the path to damage and stun enemies. Interesting. A tutorial mode. New players will be prompted to play a tutorial. Guides the user how to play survival mode. Purchase towers in the shop. And match make. Tutorial mode is replayable at the bottom of the settings menu. I might check that out in this video, I'm not sure. Um... Upon completing the tutorial, new users are offered a starter pack for 350 Robux. It includes the Militant, 3.5k coins, and 3 premium crates. Uh, this starter pack includes a 72 hour discount, 47% on 740 Robux worth of items. I will not be buying, but that's cool. I like that. Uh, new easy game mode. Easy mode has been completely remade. I gotta check that out too. Utilize this new game mode system. Wave count changed from 35 to 25. Wait a minute, it was, I thought it was 30. Uh, new enemy, armored. Uh, remakes for molten mode, casual mode, and fallen are being worked on. Stay tuned for more info, also can't wait for that. And they also updated the difficulty vote menu. There's time scaling, uh, added support for game time scaling. I don't know what that means. Currently not being utilized outside the tutorial mode. This functionality will be expanded upon soon. Interesting. Um, and there have also been rebalances for the Engineer, the Necromancer, Shotgunner, and Jester. That's so much stuff to check out in this update. Wow, it's actually a really good update so far. Um, they also changed the price of some game passes. You can, like, pause that if you want to read that. Interesting. Okay, so let's check out the inventory. So we got a new tower, which is the Trapper. Uh, watch your step. Place various traps on the path to damage and stun enemies. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this guy. That's what he looks like. Looks pretty cool. Um, just, that's a big spike. That is a huge spike, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. So, it looks like his reload time is 6.5. He has 7 range, and you can place down 7 of them. Interesting placement limit. Um, alright, so I'm going to, what I think I might do, because of the amount of content in this update, I think I'm going to split it off into multiple videos. I don't want to do everything in one video. So, for this video, I'm going to be checking out the Trapper Tower. And after I showcase the tower, I'm going to, um, you know, showcase all of the other stuff. Like, I'm going to do a video on the uh, rebalances and everything. I'm going to go into a, uh, a solo match just so I can showcase this easier. More easily, I can't... Mm. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, they did actually remake this. <laughs> okay, so, um, so now normal mode's called easy mode. I think that's what it was originally called. I'm not entirely sure. And we have molten mode and fallen mode, which you can see you need level 10 for. And apparently these two are also going to get reworked at some point. Really hyped for that. Um, especially molten mode. Well, fallen mode I'm hyped for too. But yeah, so we have easy mode here, which has been reworked a little bit. Um, so I guess I guess I'll play easy mode. I never I never thought I would be saying that I should play easy mode, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna play it. I, I think this will be cool. Um I only have 500 for this mode, and I also joined the group, so I guess you would originally start with 400. Uh, zombies have been spotted along the path. Place down your units close to the path and defend. Okay, so we got four normal zombies. I don't know if that's the same as it always is. Speedy enemies are approaching. They may be fast, but they're weaker. Quick burst of damage on these enemies and we'll do just fine. I can see they're using the new commander model that they used in Lunar Overture. That's pretty cool. Do I have the dialogue on? I even have the dialogue on. Oh, interesting. That might be a glitch. I don't know. But I'm, I'm kind of glad that it just works anyway. Whatever, guys. Whatever. Oh, okay, I got a lot of cash from that. Tankier zombies are starting to seep in. Ooh, ooh they got new animations. They may be slow, but they are harder to bring down. Stay vigilant. Vigilante, great reference. Yeah, they have uh, new animations, too. They walk, like, kind of slouched over like that. 
really cool, man. Yeah, so, okay, so wave 5, we got a lot of slow zombies and a lot of normal zombies here. A lot of normal zombies. <laughs> oh, a few speedies. Oh, you got speedies, okay. We got a few speedies. It's just perfectly fine, guys. We got speedies. It's okay. Alright, a lot of slows, I imagine. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of slows here. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure they always have 14 health. I don't think that's new. Anyways, yeah, this is wave six. Yeah, yeah, not too bad so far. I'm interested to see how they do the normal boss and the slow boss. I'm really interested to see what they do with that. Zombie outside is bringing in a boss zombie. Oh, he's got to prepare and upgrade your units and hold your ground. He's got a boss bar now. He's got a health bar. What the heck? Oh, his animations look different too. He's got a boss. He's got a health bar. Ah! It's got a health bar. Oh no. No. <laughs> Kill him. Oh, so we'll get Scout putting in work. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can't believe they actually added a health bar to him. That's that's kind of cool actually. I like that. Okay. Um I'm gonna put Trapper down. I wanna see him doing some work here. So I'm gonna put him in the back. Probably like right here, I think is a good spot. Go ahead and put Trapper down. Oh, it can do different types of traps. Oh, that's so cool. It's like Jester. Yo, it's like Jester. Oh, wow. That just instantly got put down. Okay, so this is the Trapper. Um, so how much damage do his uh, spikes do? So he can just, I guess he can just keep putting down uh, spikes and stuff. Yeah, he's just throwing them down. Very interesting. Okay, okay. Um, so for level one, he gets faster throwing and his fire rate. Oh, I just spotted some hidden zombies coming in. Upgrade your units to detect these tricky enemies. Alrighty, gotcha, man. Yep, still hidden as always. Nothing much to say about them. We, we know hiddens. Dude, this is such a cool tower, though. I, I love that you can do different types of traps, like the freaking bombs, dude. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, well, uh, so faster throwing, you know, he has a faster fire rate, and his spike cooldown goes down, and his max traps goes up. I'm gonna get that. Alright, so he gets some goggles, and I believe he got some gloves as well. Pretty common across the yes upgrades. How much damage is that gonna do? Oh wow, okay. Oh, okay, that actually did some pretty decent damage, I'm not gonna lie. That that wasn't too bad. Uh I, I probably should have just placed him over here, but I wanted to see how much damage the spikes did. I couldn't see exactly from that gameplay, so let me know if um how much damage that did, because I don't really know how much damage that did. Uh okay, so what is level two like? So we got better traps, uh, his range increases, his spike damage, oh, okay, so it's 25 per spike, that's not bad. And it increases from 25 to 40, and his max traps goes up from 6 to 7. To level 2. Here come mystery zombies. They'll turn into a different zombie when killed, I wonder what's inside. These are breakers, sir. These are not mystery zombies. Oh wow, breakers are getting demolished by these spike traps, okay. They, they're, they're not bad, actually. So yeah, I think he gets bigger spikes. Oh, oh, they can withstand multiple enemies. Oh, that's fire. Okay. He's basically like a mini engineer. Oh, he's got a little uh blueprint in his little pouch there. That's cool. All right, so level three is called Watch Your Step. Um, increases the range. You can unlock landmines. I'm definitely putting those down. Uh, max traps goes up from seven to eight. His spike damage goes from 40 to 50. And his spike cooldown decreases from 5.5 to five. And he also gets a little uh, vest and like knee pads and everything. Some cool ass headphones. Uh, and I can put down landmines. I definitely want to put down landmines. Why would I not want to put down landmines? This is his last upgrade. It's called Don't Try Zoom. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh. <laughs> I, did you guys hear the little sound when they w walked over it? I was a necromancer. Did the commander say anything about a necromancer? I, uh, I don't know. Did he say anything? Can you guys... What the heck is that? He has hidden freaking skeletons? Oh, you should not have done that. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, some of his skeletons are hidden? What the heck? That, I don't remember that being a feature. That's just, that's false. That was never a feature, man. Oh, you survived? Good. They're bringing out tankier menaces. What is that? Armored? Oh god, they got, uh, they got defense. Oh yeah, these were the enemies that were leaked. The ones that had the weird animation. Oh, they went pretty fire, I'm not gonna lie. So they actually... I don't think enemies used to have defense in easy mode, so these are the first enemies that have defense. 
They're all sending in a lot of breakers. Oh goodness. Okay. <laughs> we might we might be a little toast here. Let me upgrade my scouts. Um so yeah, okay, anyways. So his bomb upgraded to incinerate incendiary bombs, so it gets fire damage. Uh and then all of this stat changes and stuff that I don't wanna bother saying. So he looks like this. Oh wow, that looks really cool. Okay, it's a completely different little fit right there. It gets a a mask, the little thing on his helmet, some armor plating. Oh my god, this guy looks scary. <laughs> he also gets bear traps. So obviously I'm gonna put down bear traps, because like why would I not put down bear traps? You see how the little like mines thing? Loud thuds in the distance. I don't like what I'm hearing. God, it's a slow boss. It sounds like something huge is coming from here. Is he gonna have a health bar? Is he gonna have a health bar? Please tell me. Yes, he has a he has a health bar. Oh, they changed the his walking animation too. He looks uh really slouched over and everything. Come on guys, we can we can kill him. We can kill the slow boss. I, I would hope we could kill the slow boss. <laughs> oh, oh god, yeah. <laughs> oh. I mean he's just oh my god, he's just getting tortured right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, that that was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. For an intermediate tower, you're kinda fire, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think the bear traps just do a lot of damage, but the landmines have like a explosion effect so they can hit multiple enemies that's what i'm thinking it does i don't really know for sure but that's what i'm thinking it does so i'm gonna put down another trapper i'm gonna um i'm gonna set this one to landmines yeah, very cool what the heck is that oh bolts oh that's cool they make a thunder sound effect when you kill them oh that's fire okay bolt they completely redesigned that guy he looks completely different now i have armored enemies too but they're not like really difficult they just have armor so they're like slightly harder to kill nice i wonder what the rewards are like too i actually I actually didn't think about that port i thought we were going to die for a second there i don't think we're gonna die well the battle isn't over yet get ready for another horde uh oh i love the bolts dude they're so cool now oh my god i love them oh wow yeah he does get stunned for that okay so the bear trap's kind of like a stun, but the landmine, I assume, does more damage. So interesting how that uh, plays out as well. Oh, yeah, pink breakers. Interesting. Right, they're not that bad. They're just mildly annoying. All right, so anyway, these are the individual levels of the uh, trapper. So this is level zero. This is level one. This is level two. He's kind of turning the right a little bit there with the left uh this is level three and this is level four right here so pretty cool he's just he's awesome guys he's pretty he's pretty awesome all right final aid the grave digger has arrived to dig our graves indeed he has this is a fight for life or death give it your best oh he only has uh twenty thousand health they nerfed it he has 20,000 health now. Yeah, that was definitely... He had like 40,000 before. Gravedigger, my man. What's going on here? What? what? What's going on, man? Why Why do you have much less health? What happened to the music? I didn't turn the music off, did I? No. Oh, okay. His music just doesn't play. For some reason. I, I'm probably going to end up dying in this guy, too. That's the funny thing. <laughs> I hope I don't, man. One of the... uh. Yeah, okay. W, w Trapper save. W Trapper save. <laughs> Kill him! Ah! Whoa! No! I I lost. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure if you won, you probably would have got like 300 uh, coins for that. So, I mean, yeah, I, I'd say the rewards were definitely improved. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. And there's still some stuff that I haven't checked out this update yet, like the tutorial. But anyways, I'll check out more of the update in future videos, but that's about it for now. Uh, you know, sorry for the blunder with Easy. I'm assuming the rewards are better, though. Um, but, yeah, you know, they're, they're pretty cool. So, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna uh, stop the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, see you in this video. Uh, update pretty cool. Shout out to this. So, yeah, peace.